Hi, it's Dean. It is Sunday, January 29th. I'm gonna, this is gonna be a short one. I'm exhausted by, uh, by the world. And, uh, you know, maybe it's a good opportunity to talk about mental health, stress, sobriety, <laughs> among other things. I don't know. I'm trying to keep it positive here. Um, I, I've been actually been having a pretty good week. Um, back home, back in my routine. That feels pretty nice. Um, we'll be back at therapy this week. Got a lot on my mind. I mean, personally and with the world. And I don't think that as trans people we can really separate um, what's going on in this country uh, with other minorities from our own fate. So again, I you know I try really hard not to get too caught up in my anxiety and um, too caught up with fear, but uh, it's a fearful time. So I'm putting that out there. Um, in terms of coping mechanisms, I've been doing a lot of writing. I'm going to continue to do a lot of writing. Continue to do, uh, I do kind of therapeutic drawing stuff. That's helpful. And then one of the things I haven't really talked about is um, when I got into therapy back in June, uh, one of the commitments I made to myself in this process was to stay sober for it. Um, I'm not somebody who's in recovery. Uh, I didn't actually start drinking till I was in my 30s. But I come from a long line of alcoholics and drug addicts. And at some point I just realized it's not going to serve me. I mean, I've, I haven't really struggled with drug and alcohol use. I haven't hasn't messed up my life. Um, but facing coming out and facing transition, I just decided that it was in my best interest to do it from a place of sobriety and to really face it and to not, um, I felt within myself a, a great potential to undo my work in therapy and undo some of my progress around transition and facing my transness. I, I felt like that alcohol and drugs could get in the way of that. So I decided to leave that behind. And it's mostly effortless, but there are times when you want to escape. And um, I think like the last 24 hours for me of seeing the news and seeing what's going on, it's not like I said, oh God, I really want to drink, but I, you know, feel an urge to escape in general. So um, that's just another part of my story that I haven't really talked about, but I'm feeling it today. And that's, um, I don't have a lot else. I mean, I, I'm still feeling good and still feeling generally a lot less anxiety in life. I think that, um, I think that anybody, uh, dealing with what we're dealing with in this country in the last week, yeah, it's going to bring some shit up. Pardon my language, but it came out. Um, but there's somebody I do want you to meet, so I want to see if she'll come over here, because this is a, a point of happiness of my life. Papa, Papa, come on. Come on, G. This right here. This right here. Let's, let's, oh, come on. Oh, come on, G. Oh, who is that? Who's that? Who is that? Oh man, it's baby G. Yeah, so she's one of the <laughs> guiding lights in life right now. She's such a good girl. She's so good. Um, I I think that's all I got this week. I'm I know I said I keep it short, and yet I'm still here. I am at four and a half minutes. Um, I will at some point talk about libido because um, having just had a uh, discussion with this with another YouTuber, you know who you are, um, suddenly it's really up this week and um, 
And I think that that's a little perplexing when you're 51 years old to uh, be feeling like a teenage boy. But ultimately it's positive. Ultimately, um, I'm, learning a lot. I'm learning a lot about myself. Whoa. So I hope that wherever you are, uh, you're not too stressed out or you're dealing with your stress taking action in ways that you can. And I, and I, I also want to acknowledge out there um, that we all have limits around how much we can engage or not engage based on uh, mental health. And, you know, finding the best way to do what we can um, to both help ourselves and help those around us. And I think that one of the things I always return to is that to be yourself authentically and honestly is a radical act. And, um, and that in and of itself can be extremely challenging just in the day in and day out. Um, so I want to support everybody in that and, um, and doing what we can where we can to help each other and to help like our broader community. And um, that's all I got. So have a great week and I will see you next week. Okay, bye.